Hey guys, Fire J here, continuing on a Legend of Zelda: a Link to the Past. In the last episode, I made promise that we get to the next dungeon, and in this episode, I'm keeping up to that promise. So I'm gonna rush on off. Now, if you saw where I was, I was over at the sanctuary area. Where you're gonna want to go, if I can find it. Jeez, I don't want to have this problem right off the bat. No, I'm not gonna have it. I'm not gonna have that problem. I know I'm not gonna have that problem as long as I keep saying it. Um, am I really gonna start off with this problem already? Okay. Let me think. Let me think. Um, you know what? Map it up. Okay, yeah, I was going the right way. No problem. No problem. We're going good. We're good. I just had to double check because I didn't know if I was in the right spot or not to do this. But, now I'm going to shut up a little bit more. And we're going to go and hopefully get to the next area. Yep, okay, we're right in space. Uh, get away, get away, get away. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you guys. Oh, I don't want to get shocky shocky. Alright, come over here and now we can lift up this huge boulder! And there's a bug, there's a bug! And I just have killed it because that can give a lot of rupees. Anyway, going through this cave. You notice that's a one trip pony. You go down, you don't come back up. So yeah, if you have anything else you want to do right now, do it now. Because right now, if you go down there, there's no coming back right now. I mean, it'll be an easy way to come back down. There's actually a path. But uh, for now, there's no way until you get to the other side of the cave. So, just an early warning. It's not a long cave, but if you have other stuff you want to do before this, do it now. It's not one of the biggest things, but it could be like a maze-like area. There's nothing really hidden in the cave, except for this old man. I don't know who you are, but if you're going up to the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Of course, we gotta drag the old people with us. Alright. Oh, watch your step! There are holes in the ground! You're gonna turn it right here! Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Golden power? I don't remember hearing anything about that. Alright, so he wanted us to take a right and okay, wrong way. Let's just go our own direction. Alright, uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who's your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he's trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. Whoa, okay, this is starting to get deep. This man knows something. And coming outside, we get one of the popular areas of Zelda games. Say hello to Death Mountain, everybody. And oh, I hate these guys. Because you can't kill them. They only turn to stone with your sword. And then they come back. The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you this... If you want her to a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. A mirror? Okay, apparently it is blue, clear, and beautiful. You feel as if it's gonna absorb you to another world. Why was an old man carrying a mirror to begin with? Eh, whatever. But you're gonna actually want to come into his cave, go up the stairs. I am low on health, I just realized that. Um. Coming into here, and we got bats. Er, not bats. They're not bats. They're keys. I remember that. There's all the names. Oh, gee. I keep doing that. Why do I keep using a bomb and I don't mean to? Now, uh, I like to refer to this cave as the sea cave, just because of the way it looks. But that's not why we're here. Okay, we got another hidden dark maze like this. Hopefully I can stop finding rupees and actually find something useful, like a heart. Alright, another rupee. Surprise, surprise. Um, key. Another rupee. Is this all that's in here? Um, let me guess. Oh, a bl blue rupee. I guess that's different, sort of. Anyway. 
coming out here, we are on a different area. Now, I think I just forgot something. Uh, if that's the case, okay. This will lead us back to Kakariko Village if we really need to. Which, I don't want to right now, because I at least want to do something big in this episode. I am tired of dawdling. But, um, there are heart pieces in this area. Like, right up there. In fact, I'm wondering what's in this cave. Uh, okay, yeah, it's a fallen cave. And another heart piece. See what I mean when they cluster them? It's ridiculous. But, for the heart pieces, I am going to wait until I finish the dungeon. I know it may seem weird, but I think that's a good plan, considering... It'll save me time, plus I can research up bottom a little more, because I don't know every one specific position. Uh, but, uh... Oh, I can see the dungeons up there. I want to get up there. I wonder what this blue vortex does. Maybe it'll help. What the heck? What happened to me? I'm a flipping rabbit. What the heck happened to me? I can't use my sword. I can't drop a bomb. What the heck? What happened? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. And what the heck is you? Oh, oh no, Mr. Money. This one is the real world. But evil has twisted it. The golden heart will change your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I've always changed my mind, so I turned into a ball. But if you have a ball called a moon pearl, you can keep your original shape here. What do you want? Do you want something to say to me, silly rabbit? I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freak and I can't go back to the real world. If I only had the moon pearl from the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. I've got good reason to be stressed out, so back off! Shoo! Shoo! Oh, um, okay, Pancake Mountain. What the heck? I wish I had that moon pearl thing they're talking about, because I do not like this form. I can't do anything. Wait a minute, hold on. I guess I can sh see what this mirror does. It is magic, apparently. Whoa. Hey, brought us back to the normal world. And I grabbed a piece of heart. I know I kind of broke my promise there, but eh, can't blame me. Healed me up all the way, though. So that wasn't too bad, anyway. But man, that's weird. Why did I turn to a rabbit? Well, I hope that dark power doesn't conquer this whole world, otherwise I'm screwed. I can't do anything as a rabbit. Hmm, what's this? Ah, I see. Now what does it say? Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of ether. Well, I kinda can't do that. I don't really have the Master Sword yet. Uh, but what do we have over here? Okay. Uh, bridge. I always like to go on bridges, and I can't get any farther. Oh, well. I guess I'll stop stalling, finally. And actually enter the third temple. Say hello... ...to the Tower of Hera. Yep, this is dungeon number three. And our goal here is to get the Magic Pearl of Wisdom. Now, as you can see, right off the bat, we're trapped. But this is where the a new object comes into play. I'm gonna switch to my magic boomerang. Now you see these little gems right here. You, if you hit them, they change color, and whatever color they're on is the color that goes down. So let's check out what we have under here. All right, we have more. Oh, jeez, I don't want to fight you guys. Either. Now, as you saw, the red skulls they can get a little more dangerous because they want to attack. And, of course, we got these worms again. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Ugh. There's not really much of a danger, just the fact that their pattern is so random. You cannot predict what they're gonna do. They will spin, and they'll go out of control. It gets annoying. Alright, gonna hit that. Okay, I said that a little late, but you get the idea. And down the stairs I come. Hit this here so we can get the tannish blocks out of the way. And see what we got down here. Oh, we got new enemies! Now, let me see. Oh, crud, they do damage you. But as you notice, with every hit, they fly you back. They can also get annoying. And they take a lot of hits also, so the best trick to kill them 
is to just get him down the gap. That's the easiest way you can do it. Alright, hit you with the pot. You're going down. Right, okay, these are the star switches. Now, uh, what'll happen here is when you use the star switch, which I am in here way too little, it'll change the holes. Now, that can be good, but it can get a little tricky after a while. And it's just that same kind of pattern for a while. Um, a thing I'd like to talk about right now. I am starting to realize that I have got to stop listening to critics about video games. The main reason is because I am... I love certain series of games that apparently are utterly terrible to them. I don't know why. Because I play the games and I question their judgment. And then, of course, due to the fact that everybody listens to it, by the way, here's the map right in front of us, due to the fact that everybody always has to think that they're right, they don't think about their own judgment, and it kind of gets annoying now that I think about it. Because... After a while, I got curious, and I started to- Oh, jeez, not the tiles. Do I actually have to wait for you guys to get done? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yep, alright, I thought so. I'm just gonna use my sort of magical powers. Uh, but... I have gotten a few games that were apparently terrible in a critic's eye. And I learned that they were utterly wrong. These games were amazing in my eyes. Everyone has their own opinion, I know, but they shouldn't have passed judgment like that. And the main reason was their excuse saying that uh, let's see, can I use Dwight Yak yeah, yeah, yeah. The main excuse they have is the fact that uh, apparently in their eyes the older versions of the game were way better back in their history times. And they didn't even try to attempt on trying something new. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's changed to the point of terribleness. Now, I know I'm going off topic, but I, I, I just can't stand watching that. Heck, there's another thing that bugs me in the fact that critics will side with a certain system, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, and here we got more of these freaks. Die, die, stop jumping, stop jumping, stop jumping. Yep, see, he throws bones at us. But nothing happened. Another lamp puzzle. Well, I wouldn't really much call it a puzzle just to light him up. And we got a special chest of wonders. And it's the big key. Ah, I got it right. What now? Um, the one goal in this episode right now, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to finish this off, this whole temple in one shot, but I want to get at least the main treasure of this area. Man, you know, I really feel terrible because I don't have a whole lot to talk about. I, uh, nothing ever really big happens to me. I don't know why, but I just can't get anything exciting to happen to me. Especially due to the fact that I live in Montana, nonetheless. Jeez. I swear, this is one of the deadest states you'll ever go into. It is so boring here. Nothing big ever happens. The crime is down. I mean, we get a lot of these deaths and all that drug stuff, but it's not enough. That's just things that people have listened to too many times, and they just ignore it. I want something bigger to happen. There is nothing to do. Uh, big key here. Get out. Get out. Get out. I want you to die. Die. Ah, you big-headed bouncing freaks. Get out. Yeah, die. Die. Burn. Burning you didn't do anything. Alright. So, we can go through here now. And I see the big chest over there, but as you can see, we have no way of getting over there. There is a gap, and there's no way of even jumping over there. Especially considering we don't jump! Is this game just leaves? I mean, 
Okay, I mean, it's pretty useful in most Zelda games that making jump an option. Oh, okay. Compass. Like having to run over an edge and jumping, but sometimes it's not a bad idea to just, you know, run. Alright, yeah, we can't get over here from this floor. But um, remember how I was talking about holes that will take you down to another floor? You need to remember that in this dungeon, otherwise you're not going to get the main treasure. I have gone through this game a couple times when I was younger without getting the big treasure and fighting the boss. It is possible. However, right, did I land, fall in the right spot? Uh, no I didn't. But, uh, uh, I just forgot what I was talking about, that's just great. Oh, yeah, I, I totally spaced. I think it's this hole to go down. Yep, okay. Oh, uh, oh, uh, what? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Um. Uh. Darn it, I thought there was a way to do this. Oh, wait, yeah, I think we have to go drop down in a higher spot. Gotta think. Think, 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 think. Like I said, sorry this is such a dull episode, but like I said, nothing big really happens. Um. Uh, crud, do I fall from the top? E there we go. Here we have the Moon Pearl. This protects the hero from changing effects of the Golden Power. Yep, now we won't turn into that stupid bunny anymore. And that seems like a good place to end off the episode. So, next time on Legend of Zelda, we will face the main boss of the Tower of Hera. I'll see you guys then.